PCMC has done a good job over the past uh, five to six years. One of the reasons why that happened was that successively commissioners have taken uh, taken the whole movement forward. Frankly speaking, when Kunal sir was there in Pune sometime around 2015 and 16 when he was the PMC commissioner, the whole movement with regards to JM Road etc etc started and a lot of people who are sitting uh, today out here uh, were also part of the team that implemented that in Pune. Subsequently, Pune took it up and then PCMC took it up and Shaun Hadikar sir was there as commissioner and subsequently later on Rajesh Patil sir and I also felt the need to continue the whole thing. I won't go into too many semantics and uh, uh, te technical things. I think we have our expert panel who are going to delve into that uh, going forward. I'm going to talk more uh, from the point of view of an administrator or a commissioner and what are the various challenges that are there. Even if you look at till now, the whole concept of uh, cycling, the whole concept of pedestrian, the whole concept of providing a safe passage for people who are walking, uh, frankly to my mind that I've been thinking for the past one and a half years since I've entered the urban domain, to my mind it really to begin with was a bit of a class concept where you know people who could only afford cycles and who could only afford to walk were the people who were walking and cycling. Over the time things have progressed, things have evolved and now people are cycling for leisure, people are also cycling for lifestyle, people are also now cycling to offices whether it is MNCs and other things. And that is where I think the problem was there in our country and still is frankly speaking. Because uh, if I could use the word, the non-elites were the ones who were traveling on foot, who were walking on foot, who were cycling, cycling to work, etc. And we never really, you know, took care about that. We always thought that <coughs> roads are important because cars need to have roads. And I always uh, often keep saying that if I don't have a road in a particular place, the car will not be able to go, right? You need to provide a road for the car to travel. Similarly, probably going forward, we need to provide pedestrian walkways, safe pedestrian walkways, safe cycle tracks for people to cycle or to walk. And that is where I feel uh, the whole, this shift that has happened, more so because of the smart city mission, pushing it really, really in a way where, you know, every city is now standing up and taking a, uh, uh, taking a due notice of the fact and trying to improve uh, the kind of uh, infrastructure that we provide. And that is where the voice of pedestrians are now being heard, the voice of cyclists are now being heard. And people have started to say that we, if we even if, even if we are walking and not, you know, traveling in a car, we need to be provided a space, uh, safe space to walk. And that is the, and that is, I think, that's a tectonic shift that we are trying to, you know, work towards this entire space. All the other things are other things, but what I'm saying, the philosophical, uh, you know, the foundation, the philosophical foundation is trying to hear the voice of people who are walking on foot and who are trying to cycle up. And this involves a lot of negotiation. There's a lot of negotiation with people walking in the cars, uh, driving in the cars. A lot of times I keep hearing, even till now in our city, some people saying that you are crowding out the space for the cars. You are crowding out the space, uh, the carriageway which is available. All our experts will be telling you that is actually not the case. We are maintaining the carriageway and still we are able to carve out spaces which provide a safe space for cyclists to cycle or people to walk. And frankly, sometimes, uh, you know, I, I really think that in a country, uh, uh, for good or for bad, we become quite happy uh, at having implemented urban streetscaping projects. Now, Jeanal and Mayan Holler are sitting here, they might disagree, but there's a point that I'm trying to make. I feel that, you know, the way that uh, a road is boring, a road might not be boring for Pratap and Vikas who are engineers, and I'm also a structural engineer, but the way that road becomes boring enough to be built, you know, you, you know the whole process, you know the whole grind, is what should start happening to footpaths. because. Having safe footpaths is something which is very, very normal throughout the world. But in India, because of the lack of it and because of probably the focus was never there, we all feel very happy at having implemented projects. We are going to show you a few projects that we have implemented and we are very proud and happy about it. But I really wish a day should come when this should all become very boring. When these workshops should cease to exist. When we say that even if I'm making a 500 meter road, I need to have a cycling track, I need to have a pedestrian walkway and it should become grind, run of the mill affair. And that to my mind would be the real success of this entire moment which has been really started by Smart City, by Kunal sir and by the entire team at Maua and taken forward by all the smart cities uh, going forward. And that is something uh, that is very crucial. And it's not going to happen in a day. We were interacting with a team from Netherlands at UMI and uh, the lady who was representing the team from Netherlands, Ashwati, was also there. She made a very important statement. She said that 
you now and today think that you know wow new zealand is doing such a great job but that moment really started 40 years back they had their own troubles they had their own uh, sign curve ups and lows they had to negotiate with people they had to negotiate with the car drivers in the country so it didn't come out easy but they have been doing it continuously 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 for the past 30 to 40 years and today is a stage where they have come where we all look forward or look up to netherland to say wow what an infrastructure they have created what a a great template that they have created for people to cycle and to people to walk etc and that to my mind is something very important that brings me to one of my final uh, points about having continuity in your organizations having an institutionalization in your organization and to that extent i think pcmc is very lucky we are lucky to have our brts department uh, uh, headed by joint city engineer project uh, with bapu being there romance sir sunil and all the entire team that is there and ably supported by people like prasanna by pranjali by vikas by prata and what that does is that creates a collaborative effort where you have people you know from the design part you have people like prasanna who is there who is an architect you have people person like vikas who is a structural engineer someone looking into traffic point of view uh, pratap and then our own team and that institutionalized that that has happened the institutional memory that has got created is something that continues it forward no matter which commissioner comes or goes and that becomes very very crucial and i think that is something that you in your organization is also something that needs to be done an institutionalization of not just people their capacities but also guidelines of sops uh, uh, pcmc has already done uh, an nmt policy we uh, came out with last year and there are lot of other things which have been done to probably institutionalize the whole process and try to see that uh, you know this is something which uh, which carries forward uh i think that's 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 good enough uh, there are other few things about financing and all probably what because all this does entail financing if i'm making a simple bitumen road versus if i'm making or providing space for a pedestrian walkway and cycle tracks there is a bit of a up uh, cost involved uh, smart city was a great way for cities to take up such projects but i think increasingly cities will need to look out for sources of funding of how to keep continuing it uh he mentioned about harit setu harit setu is a project that we for ourselves have decided to be implemented over the next 10 to 12 years so we are not saying we are doing it immediately we are saying neighborhood by neighborhood we are going to take up spaces we are going to ensure that the entire neighborhood become cycle friendly entire neighborhood become senior citizen friendly kids friendly pedestrian walkway friendly and that is how we need to move because there is a lot of funding which is involved in the first pilot that we are undertaking uh, in this nigri pradhikaran actually this whole area Uh, which we plan to uh, start the work very very soon and that's the project for which we got the bloomberg uh, grant uh, the funding we are trying to now arrange through a green bond which we intend to issue very very soon we are in uh, intending to issue a green bond for that particular project and that is how we intend to move forward green bond is something that lot of other cities can try for government of india gives an incentive of 10 crore for every 100 crore that also uh, you know incentivizes the kind of yield that you get over bonds uh just the final things uh, kunal sir was very very absolutely clear that this workshop needs to be more of a hand on experience so there is a lot of activity which is involved today uh, you must have gone through the agenda i would really exhort you all to be really involved in the group work that are there today and then the uh, uh, you know the visit that we are going to keep uh, for the for the hands on uh, action of designing an inter intersection that we are doing today